Welcome, my friends, to the wonderful world of analytics, said no one ever. I am one of those weird people that loves a pie chart and a pie, but pie charts, all that good stuff. And YouTube has a lot of analytics. And coming into this for the first time, if you just want to create videos and then you look at this analytics page, you can see that there's a lot of confusing stuff going on here. So, and there's tons of different... Um, pages and random stuff a lot of it is not actually that useful it's interesting some of it but a lot of it's not that useful so the first thing you're going to see is your dashboard um this social blue book thing is a tube buddy extension which is free um if you want to get it it basically says what you could charge for a dedicated upload so if a company approached me i could say i want 729 dollars please um, unlikely, but uh, shout out $255. <laughs> but you'll get this like last 28 days. You can see your watch time, your views, your subscribers, your estimated ad revenue and all that good stuff. But let's go into analytics a little bit further and talk about sort of the important stuff um, to look at. So the first thing, you know, what this watch time is always nice. It's 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 a total, you know, or it's, it's like you're basically your total in the part. 57 years and 338 days of watch time. Um, this is a very important one. The average view duration. It's it's really important because YouTube wants to know that your videos are good and relevant and the, the title is right and the thumbnail is right. So when people click on the view, on, on the video, they're getting what they thought they were when they clicked on it. Because that's why clickbaiting is just rubbish now because... If you click on a video with a big pair of boobs in the thumbnail, you don't get any boobs. You're clicking off. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it's really important that it matches. And when it does, your your average view duration so it should be looking to sort of go up and up and up, depending on your content and all that sort of stuff. You want as high as possible. YouTube likes that, trusts it. This little graph in itself doesn't really say much. Like, oh, five minutes, 42. Good. Doesn't really make so we'll, I'll show you that in more detail in a second, um, and then we've got things like real time views. This is a really fun one, and it's quite good when you release a new video to see how that new video is getting on. My latest videos just hit three thousand views, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. How many views you're getting in the last sixty minutes? That sort of stuff. It's it by default. It's just done by date order. So these are the most recent, however many videos. Um, what you can do is, if you want to see if a video is doing particularly well, you can say uh, estimated views in the last 48 hours. So, um, obviously my latest video is going to be here. We can take that out um, and the previous one. But this one here, I created this on May the 23rd. And this is still getting a lot of views. So maybe try and make something similar to that or make a part two or make other stuff you know very closely related to this video because it's clearly doing something right if any of your videos continuously get views that is fantastic that's kind of what you want a lot of like um because that was like a, an experiment that i did a lot of videos that are like this which is basically a continuation of a story i kind of could tell you almost exactly how many views i'm going to get because i've got about five thousand people that are watching each video so I kind of know that that's going to be the number. But with videos like this, it's really interesting. Um, and it's just fun to see, you know, breaking estimated views in the last 48 hours, 40,000 and all that good sort of good stuff. Um, and then you've got things like revenue. I'm going to talk, uh, doing a specific video about YouTube ad revenue and marketing and, and all that sort of good stuff later on. So we'll leave that for now. Um, <clears throat> then we've got fun things here like uh, demographics. So you can see what sort of age people um, are. What sex, you know, they are. Mine's a predominantly male audience. Funny that, gaming channel f about football mainly. Not not really surprising. But it might. It's it's fun to see. But you could potentially aim content if you realize that you're getting a lot of older people or something you could aim your content towards more them or do things that are more relevant to them and then you've got things like playback locations which is where they're watching the channel from um, traffic sources how they're finding your videos so the browse feature suggested video are they watching it through playlists we've already talked about how important playlists and 15 percent of my entire views come through people just watching playlists that's how important they are what sort of devices they're watching on so you might realize that actually you're getting 80 percent of your views are coming on mobile phones so then you need to sort of 
maybe change your thinking slightly when making videos to make it easily watchable on a small device, things like that. Um, and then we've got um, likes and dislikes and all that sort of stuff. I don't really pay much attention to my likes and dislikes because I appreciate them and it really helps when people like my videos and that's why I ask them to like if they enjoyed it. Um, like this video has 1,497 likes and four dislikes. So, you know, good ratio. Um, but, and and that's that's fine, but I'm not really too bothered about that. The big one for me is what's called um, audience retention. Because we talked about before about having, making sure people watch as much of your video as you can. And that's that graph we saw before where it just says, 10 minutes and stuff like that but what you want to do is is click on one of these videos and when you start a new you know click on a new, um video in this section it will take you to this screen here so i'm looking at one of my random videos from my let's play football manager series <clears throat> and here's the video here i better mute it and this graph above basically tells me when people are leaving my video okay so obviously at zero seconds 100 percent of the time that you've clicked on the video you are here and then in the first so you can hit the play button and you can see this graph will start moving and you can see people leaving your video okay so let's say after you know there we go after 23 seconds of my video i'm down to 71 percent you will always 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 get quite a big drop off at the start of the video that could be a lot to do with people just misclicking or bots or random stuff like that you will always see a drop off the, the the big thing is to try and keep that drop off as small as possible if i had a clickbaity video boobs in the thumbnail boobs in the title no boobs in the video this would go straight away and youtube would punish that youtube likes it when people hang on so as you can see we got the our standard drop off if you if you can keep that anywhere above um sort of 60 percent at the beginning that drop off you're doing well um but what could be if you if you're getting a bigger drop off there this is why this screen is so useful let's say you're you're you finding that you're getting quite a big drop off here have a look at the video that's this is why the video is at the beginning that's a lovely pause face isn't it um have a look at the video at the beginning and watch along and go maybe your intro is too long maybe you've got a 20 second intro that just drags on a little bit and people very impatient nowadays especially with media and they just go oh come on he's got a bloody long intro maybe the video starts off a bit too slow and that's something you can improve on um so the video goes on and over the course of the video you'll always get like a slow drop down weirdly you'll get peaks like here it's gone down to 57 percent, but then it goes back up to 67 percent. and the reason for this is people might go back and watch it again so um, or they might skip ahead. So you'll always get little peaks and troughs and stuff like that. And as you can see, right at the end of the video, um, before the end of the video, you get a massive drop off because I have on my videos, um, just at the end, a little bit of credits for people that have um, donated to me on Patreon. So I'm basically saying goodbye. Thank you very much. At this point, the show's ended. It's kind of like the movie credits at the cinema everybody's getting up to go that's kind of a natural drop off but that also one important thing that gives you is that well maybe you shouldn't leave important notices or if you need to say something important don't leave it right to the end because people you know they've seen the video you've started to say goodbye they just want to move on to the next one so <clears throat> maybe have your call to action halfway through the video when most people are still watching so when halfway through the video if you're enjoying this video, guys, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe and blah, 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 all that good stuff, rather than leaving it right to the end when there's only 26% 26 of people that are watching it right at the end of the video. <clears throat> but it's really, really useful to see where you're going wrong. Maybe you have a part of your video, like a sudden drop off at 6 minutes 50, and you're going, what the hell is that? And you can look at it at 6 minutes 50 and go, oh, that's where I did that scene that took too long, or... Maybe I said that really bad joke or <clears throat> various other stuff that could be wrong. And then you can adapt and change your videos to basically minimize any sort of drop off throughout the video. If you can end a video um, anywhere above sort of 50%, like I said, forget this little drop off at the end because you'll always get that. But if you can get anywhere above 50%, you're doing a good job. 
So there we go, guys. Another video done. I hope you enjoyed it and got something useful out of it. If you have any questions on the subjects we talked about in this video, then please leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, I'm also going to do a live Q&A at the end of this series on YouTube. So if you want to talk, um, have any more questions or want to go a bit more in depth or something we haven't talked about before, then make sure you join me on that stream. Also, subscribe if you're new. Um, also, you know, if you've got your own tips to share, put them in the comments. Let's help each other grow. You know, I'm not the world's expert of YouTube. I'm just showing you what I've learned. But if you've got your own tips and tricks, then please do leave them in the comments. Get involved and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. Love you all. Bye bye.